What's up, guys? It's Jay with JW Cards. I'm here with episode 18 of my TTM Thursday series where I send out cards to uh, sports players, actors, lawyers who happen to be uh, NFL referees and stuff like that. And I uh, hope to get them signed back, whether it's cards, pictures, whatever it is. Lately, it's been mostly cards. I do have some out to some actors, but I haven't gotten anything back. But uh, this week is a little different. I didn't get anything back in the mail, but I did. I'm in a couple of Facebook TTM groups where people sell their TTMs. And um, I got these three back uh, I, that I had bought last week. Super, super cheap. Shockingly, one of them was really cheap, but it is what it is. So my first one I'm gonna talk about is this one, which is Frank Torrey. It's with a pen, which I don't prefer, obviously. But I looked at a lot of his autographs online and like 90% of them are with pen. A lot of them are actually on this card and um, signed in the same spot really at also. Uh, he does have a couple with markers, Sharpies, but mostly with pen. We all know Frank Torrey is Joe Torrey's brother. Um, he did pass away in 2012, so, or 2014, I'm sorry. He was 82 when he passed away. He did play from 1956 to 1963. He played for the Milwaukee Braves from 56 to 60 and the Phillies from 62 to 63. Um, I first heard about Frank Torrey during the 96 World Series because he was in the hospital while the Yankees were in the World Series. And growing up, I lived in New Jersey at the time, so it was all over the news, all over the newspapers, that you know Frank Torrey, Joe Torrey's brother, was in the hospital during the World Series and all that kind of stuff. Everyone was rooting for Frank Torrey, rooting for Joe Torrey, um, all during that time. Uh, he did win the World Series in 1957 with the Milwaukee Braves. He batted 273, lifetime batting average, had 13 home runs and 179 RBIs. All right, I'll leave that one up here. The next one is, if, if y'all been in uh, Back in the Game Collecting's channel, he, this guy's been in the, the Upper Deck Minor League Series packs. He's been pulled a few times. Um, some people mention him that uh, he's passed away. Other people, the car just goes right by and no one knows who he is. But his name is Doug Million. I think that's how it was pronounced. Million, Million. I'm not sure. This is actually a... This card cost me $3,472. Uh, congratulations, you received an Autograph 95 Five Sport Autograph Edition card. So this was a... Um, this wasn't a TTM. It was uh, came in the pack signed. Um, but a little about Doug Million, or Million. He died in 1997. He won the Gatorade High School Baseball Player of the Year Award in 1994. And he played minor league baseball for four seasons. <clears throat> he was drafted by the Colorado Rockies in the first round of the 94 draft out of Sarasota High School. So he's from right here in Florida. He began his professional career that year, splitting the season between the Arizona League Rockies and the Bend Rockies, going a combined 6-3. and three. He was a pitcher with a 2.20 ERA while striking out 92 batters in 69 and two-thirds innings of work. That's pretty good. Um, he was the 19th best prospect in the minor leagues. And in 1995, with the Salem Avalanche, he went 5-7 and seven with a 4.62 ERA in 24 games. <clears throat> in 1997, he pitched for the Avalanche and the Ravens, going a combined 5-14, and 14, not too good. Uh, 6.32 ERA in 28 games with uh, 27 starts. Overall, he was 26 and 32 with a 4.12 uh, ERA in 92 minor league games pitched. The tragic thing is he died in 1997 while playing an electronic video game with a teammate. I don't know if that means like a PlayStation game or a handheld game. It's just weird that it says electronic trivia game. I don't really know. I, I'm assuming it's, I don't know what it is. But he suffered a, a severe asthma attack while playing that and died shortly afterward, which is pretty, pretty sad. Um, so yeah, he was uh, 22 years old, I believe, 
Well, just short of his 22nd birthday because he was born in October, died in September. So just short of his 22nd birthday, Doug Million, Million, something like that. So I got that. And then my last one is Vladdy Daddy, Mr. Vladimir Guerrero. This is from when he was on the Expos. He did sign TTMs back then. I don't know if he still does. I don't have a certificate of authenticity, but um, I know it's real. All these Facebook groups, um, everyone vouches for everyone. Um, this person did say they got it personally, TTM. And this guy actually used to be, the person I got it from actually used to be a minor league baseball player. He'll be featured on my channel at some point. Uh, I, I asked him to send me a card signed, so. We all know about Vladdy Daddy. <clears throat> he played from 96 to 2011. He had a lifetime batting average of 318. He had 2,590 hits, 449 home runs, uh, 1,496 RBIs. He played for the Expos from 96 to 03, the Angels from 04 to 09, the Rangers in 2010, and the Orioles in 2011. He was a nine-time All-Star, the AL MVP in 04. He won eight Silver Slugger Awards. He's in the Angels Hall of Fame, and he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2018. Mr. Vladimir Guerrero, whose son now plays for the Blue Jays. We all know about him. He's a big prospect. So yeah, that's all I got this week. Short TTM video, but I'm really happy of, of my purchases with this these three. I have some more coming, mostly hockey players, um, in my next TTM purchase. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. Doug Million, Vladimir Guerrero, and Mr. Frank Tori. Thanks guys. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time.